Hi, my name is Megan, and my purpose on this earth is to love my husband fiercely, raise four kind, loving kids, and help women just like you create and live a life they love through yoga and life coaching. I hope you enjoy this 18-minute stretch and flow. Hi, friends. I have planned for you a stretch and flow today. So it's not quite a yin practice, which holds a posture for about one to three minutes. This is just slowing it down, taking a little bit of time between movement and postures, and really feeling the benefit and focusing on alignment of the postures. So thank you so much for joining me. Be reminded, honor your body, listen to your body. This is your practice. Um, so make sure to take it to your edge. But then if something doesn't feel good, please back out of it. Let's begin at the top of our mat. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Open your chest, your heart. Breathe in what you need today. And then exhale, swan dive to earth. Surrender and let go what no longer serves you. Fingertips to shins, half lift. Try bringing the shoulder blades away from the ears, putting the weight in your heels. Take a breath here. Nice flat back, and then exhale, fold, really deep bend in the knees, bringing the fingertips to the earth for a block. Crown of the head towards the earth, try shifting forward on the balls of your feet, and then back at your heels, notice how it feels. Shift forward on the balls of your feet, and then back on your heels. And then settle into this forward fold, putting most of the weight in the balls of your feet, really light in the heels. And be intentional here, really shift those sits bones right over your femur bones. And you'll really notice the stretch in the back of the calves, into the hamstrings, up into the glutes. Allow the belly to rest on the thighs, and then maybe shake the head yes and no. Take another breath here. Inhale, fingertips to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Sweeping the arms to the sky, to mountain. Draw the shoulder blades away from the ears. Bringing the right hand over to the right. Gaze to the sky and hinge over to the right. Think about lifting the rib cage away from the hip bone, opening up, creating space in that side body. Inhale, sweep arms back to sky. Exhale, drop the left hand down. Gaze to the sky and hinge over to the left. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to earth. Bend through the knees. Fingertips to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, returning back to mountain. And then cactus the arms. Open that chest, that heart. Gazing to the sky. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, forward fold, bringing the hands through heart center. Shift the hips back. Fingertips to earth, half lift. Exhale, fold. If you have blocks, you can bring your hands to the blocks, if not to the earth. Step your right foot, or step your left foot back, bring your right foot forward, coming into crescent lunge. So here, let's check on the alignment. Our right knee is stepped over that right heel. We look down, we can see our toes, if not shift them forward. We're shifting our right hip back, our left hip forward, and we're tucking our tail. My shoulders are stacked over my hips. My chest and heart are open. I'm using the blocks. They're extensions of our arms, so you can move the blocks wherever you want. And then inhale, sweep the arms to the side. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe you want your hands here today. Maybe your shoulders not wanting the extra love here. Take a breath here, and then exhale, bring your hands back to the earth or your blocks. Shift the hips back, walk your blocks back, or bring your fingertips to the earth. Bring your right toes to the sky, and we are in half splits. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, begin to fold over the extended leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, grow the spine, and exhale, 
inhale, fold. See where you can go. Bring the, bring the forehead towards your shin. Make some adjustments here. Shift that right hip back. Feel the love. And then inhale, breathe it back up. Press a lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward. Frame out that foot. Bring your right knee back to meet the left. Stacking the joints. So shoulders are over wrist. Hips are over knees. Lift your chest, your heart. Breathe it in. And then exhale, get round for cat. Tuck the chin round through the back. Inhale, lift your chest, your heart. Drop the belly, breathe it in. Exhale, get round, tuck the chin round through the back. Enjoy your cat posture. And then returning back to a neutral spine. I'm using my blocks, so I'm going to walk my blocks up. They're extensions of my arms. And stepping my left foot through. Stacking my knee over my ankle. Lifting my chest, my heart. Stacking my shoulders over my hips. Shifting my left hip back, my right hip forward. And then tucking my tailbone. You can stay right here or inhale, sweep the arms to the sky, feeling the love in the right hip flexor. Or maybe you want to bring your right, your hands to your right quad. Your practice, what do you need today? Honor how you want to feel. Take a breath here and then exhale, hands by the earth or the blocks. As I walk my blocks back, bring my left toes towards the sky. Inhale, grow my spine, and then exhale, fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine, create more space, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and then settle into the posture, drawing the forehead towards the shin. Shifting that left hip back, that right hip forward. Feel the love from the calf into the hamstring, all the way up into the glutes. And then inhale, rise back up, walking the blocks back up, coming back to crescent lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands back to your blocks or the earth. And then bringing the left knee back to meet the right. Restacking the joints. Inhale, lift the chest, the heart. Breathe it in. And then exhale, get round. Tuck the chin round through the back. One more cycle of cat cow. Inhale, breathe it in. And then exhale, let it go. Returning back to a neutral spine, step the right foot through. You have the option to use your blocks or just bring your hands to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. This time, we're going to tuck the back toes, lengthen out of the back knee, coming up to full crescent. Keep shifting that right hip back, that left hip forward, tuck your tail, pausing here, and then opening up to the right to twisted crescent. Try to stack your shoulders over your hips, squeeze that left glute, stack that left heel over your toes. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward. You can frame out your foot or bring your hands to your blocks. Drop that back knee. Bring that right knee back to meet your left. Maybe you want a cat cow on your blocks or the earth. Inhale, lift your chest, your heart for cow. Exhale, get down, tuck the chin, round through the back. Inhale, breathe in what you need in your practice. And exhale, surrender, let go of what you don't. Returning back to a neutral spine, step your left foot through, hands on the blocks or the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, settle in and tuck those back toes, lengthening out of that back leg, really strong in that hip flexor, full crescent. Take a breath here, and then open up to the left. Shift those shoulders back, so see the adjustment. The shoulder shifts right over the hips, stacking the heel over the toes, and we breathe. Squeeze that right glute. Inhale, sweep your arms. 
arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge far. Spread out your foot or, or find your blocks. Bring the right knee down and bring the left knee back to meet the right. I'm going to set my blocks off to the side. Inhale, lift my chest to heart. Exhale, get round, tuck the chin round through the back. One more cycle of cat cow. Inhale, breathe in. And exhale, let it go. Returning back to a neutral spine. Tuck the toes, shift the hips to the sky. Coming into our first down dog of our practice. Let's pedal it out when we get there. Notice how you feel. Drawing the shoulders down the back. Rocking through your collarbones. Hips to the sky. Lengthen the spine. Settle into your down dog and then crouching down dog. Draw the knees towards the earth, your belly towards your thighs. Then shift your hips up, 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 up. And then melt your heels. Draw the shoulders down, broaden through your collarbones. One more time, crouching down dog. Draw your knees towards the earth. Belly towards your thighs. Now hips up, 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 up. And then melt your heels down. Breathe the forward plank. Little to no movement from your hands or feet in plank. Take two big breaths here. Fingertips are spread wide. Draw your hip bone to hip bone. We breathe. And then hips up, down, dog. Looking at the space between your hands, hop or walk your feet to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Grab the opposite elbow with your hand and rag dog. Maybe sway back and forth, being intentional about the bend in your knees. And release the clasp. Inhale, reverse one. Now open the chest, the heart. Breathe in what you need. Exhale, swan dive to earth. Let go what you don't. Fingertips to shins, half foot. And then exhale, fold. Seal your hands on the air. Step back to plank. High plank or low plank. This is your practice. Honor your body. Listen to your body. Take two more breaths here. And then lower the knees down and come around to easy seated. Let's come to easy seated. And we are going to begin. And again, this is your practice, so we're going to stack our knees. If you are honoring your knees today, there's a lot of different versions of how cow face posture. Maybe your left leg is long and your right foot is stacked. We're sitting really tall, we're hugging it in, or maybe you're going to stack both knees. So here we go. Stacking both knees. And then trying to get those sits bones on the earth. Yeah, settle in there, sit really tall. If you have a block, you can bring a block here in front of you. And then inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, begin to hinge forward. See if your elbows can find the earth or a block. Maybe rest that third eye on your thumbs. Notice where you feel the stretch. I'm a visual learner, so I like to breathe in to those muscles, to the ligaments, to the tendons. I like to visualize creating space within my body. Take one more big breath here, and then go ahead and come up. Bring your hands to the left, so it's a nice twist here, just like you would have your hands in chaturanga or a push-up. We're going to lift up. You're going to circle around to the back of whatever space you are at. And then maybe you'll land with your left leg on top. Maybe not. It's all good. And if you're honoring that leg, you can go ahead and bring the right leg out and be here for your posture. Or tuck the knee, tuck both legs, stack your knees, settle in, see if you can ground through both hips, through both sit bones, sit really tall. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. And then exhale, begin to hinge forward, keeping the sit bones grounded, bringing the elbows towards the block or the earth, and settle in. 
Take two big breaths here. And then begin to rise up. Taking your time coming out of this posture. Let's unstack our right leg and then our left and then allow the knees to fall to the right and then the left. Tick tock them one more time to the right and to the left. And then stamping the feet on the earth, we're going to roll down one vertebrae at a time. Take your time. Walking the feet in towards the heels. Let's stack our right knee just like we were. Our right knee over the left. We're going to hop the knees in. We're going to reach for our feet. Imagine if you're looking at a clock. You're at a three and nine with your feet. And then you're going to hug them into the body. You can lift your chest or keep the head, neck, shoulders grounded. And on each exhalation, see if you can hug the legs a little close to your body. And then we're going to take it to the other side. Cross the left knee over the right. Hug the knees into the chest. Reach for the feet. They're at three and nine if you're looking at a clock. And then on each exhalation, hug those legs in close to your body. You should be feeling the love in the glutes through the IT band. And then release. Hugging the knees into your chest, draw your chin up towards your knees, give yourself a hug, and be reminded the most important relationship you have in this life is with you. You are your most important journey. And then rock and roll up a couple times on the spine, feel that massage, and then meet me up in an easy seated. Bringing the arms out to a T, inhale, lift your chest, your heart, breathe in what you need. And then exhale, tuck the chin, round through the shoulders and the back, and let go of what you don't. Inhale, breathe in what you need. Open your heart, your chest. And then exhale, let go of what you don't. One more time, breathe it in. Make yourself open and available to receive the best life has to offer you today. And then let go of those limiting beliefs and roadblocks that are keeping you stuck. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for honoring your body, your mind, nourishing your soul, and sharing this practice with me today. I encourage you to use the tools of your yoga practice, the peace, the strength, the balance, the presence. Take those tools off your mat into your life. May the light within me shine greatly within each one of you. Much love and gratitude. Namaste. Thank you for sharing that practice with me. I know it can be challenging to move our bodies every day. I'm a mom of four, but I also know when we move our bodies, we create the energy we need to be the best version of ourselves. So if you found value in that, please subscribe and share my YouTube videos. Much love, gratitude, namaste.